We now build upon a prior video covering the media release. As you finalize your release for distribution, you now need to consider how to conduct effective media relations as you work to get news coverage for your story. As you prepare to sell your story idea, keep in mind that you are not just pitching your release to potential reporters, but also to the picky editors that they report to and ultimately to the audiences they all serve. And if you're lucky enough to get a bite on your release, we'll have some tips on how to conduct an effective media interview. There are some key tactics to keep in mind while you are pitching to different media types. For example, print media, such as newspapers and magazines, may likely go deep into your story, especially if it's a news feature. So you may need more data, sources for quotes, company profiles, and other such detail. Television is a very visual medium where interesting video may be as important as the story itself. Especially attractive on television is action type events. and Kids always look good and water of some sort can provide an interesting backdrop. Radio is a right-now medium for live on-the-scene reports. An old rule in radio is if you hear it, it's news. If you read it, it's history. And the Internet is an easy way to reach a global audience as fast as you can hit send. Keep in mind, most traditional print and broadcast media have an online presence today. So if they pick up your story, you could well get media play on their websites as well. All the appeals that work for attracting attention in the marketplace may also apply to gaining attention for your news story. Whether you are pitching a newsworthy event or selling a consumer product, many of the tactics are the same. And recall the sorts of story angles you should consider while preparing your media release. Those same angles, phrased succinctly, can help fortify your media pitch on the telephone or in an email. And after all your efforts preparing and pitching your release, if you are lucky enough to land an interview, there are some important items you should keep in mind. First, understand that the reporter's job is not to promote your product or service or to even make you look good. The reporter's job is to find a news angle that will be interesting to an editor and an audience. Often a reporter may score more points and better placement by finding something bad to report about you rather than the good news you're hoping for. That's just the way it goes in the news business where a common slogan is, if it bleeds, it leads. You should also understand that a reporter is limited by the job. An editor typically decides if or when a story will run and what hook it might have, not the reporter. Reporters are often rushed and may not be able to spend as much time covering your story as you might like. And certainly a reporter may not often follow up with you to verify facts or quotes, nor give you an advanced look at the report before it runs. Be prepared for any question, especially the ones you'd least likely want to answer. Keep in mind that mistakes and misquotes do often occur, and unless it is central to your message, don't worry about it too much. As they say, don't argue with anyone who buys their ink by the barrel. And don't expect too much from any one report, even if it's on a network newscast or a national publication. Best results are achieved over the long haul, not any one news event. If you are put on the spot and not quite sure how to answer a question during an interview, keep in mind the Dan Rather rule, named after a longtime CBS news anchor. And he says there are only three responses you should give to a reporter's question. One, yes, I know the answer, and I'm glad to give it to you. Two, no, I don't know the answer, but I'll find out and get right back to you. And finally, 
Yes, I know the answer, but I can't tell you because, for instance, we don't comment on pending cases or personnel issues, or it's proprietary information, or it's an issue of national security, or whatever else your justification might be. So here are some resources that offer some further help as you develop your media releases and media relations. You can find some in-depth articles written by communication professionals at the links posted here. They're all free. And you may also find your way to my course pages and the materials I provide my students through universities in California. For now, good luck with your media outreach efforts, and we'll see you next time.